Hello friends, today we are learning about the heat and the transfer of the heat. In science, heat is a form of the energy. It is also known as a thermal energy. It is a sum of the kinetic energy of atoms or molecules of any particular given substances. In thermodynamics, heat is an energy that is moved between two things. One of them has a higher temperature than the other. Heat always flows from the hotter body to the colder body. Here, we will be learning the various ways of the heat transfer like the conduction, convection and the radiation. Let's understand the conduction by a simple activity. We need some materials like a copper rod, small nails, a candle, a matchbox and a wooden stand. Fix the nail on the copper rod with the help of the candle wax as shown. Maintain a distance of about 2 cm between two nails. Insert the other end of the copper rod into the paper roll as shown. Adjust the height of the candle accordingly to the height of the wooden stand. Light the candle and place it under one end of the copper rod so that this end will get heat from the candle flame. Observe some time and see what's happened to the nails. After a few seconds, the first nail falls down As you continue to provide the heat to the copper rod, after some time, second nail falls down. And after that, the subsequent nails falls down as well. If you observe carefully, you will notice that the nail nearest to the candle flame falls down first, then the second nail and the so on. When we provide heat to the one end of the copper rod, the wax used to fix the nails to the copper rod melts down and hence the nail falls off. The copper rod get heat from the candle and this heat transfer from hotter end of the copper rod to the colder end of the copper rod. Hence the nail falls down subsequently from the copper rod. This process of the heat transfer is known as the conduction of the heat. In conduction, the transfer of heat from one atom to another is accomplished by the direct contact of the atom of the copper rod. Now, let's understand another method of the heat transfer. It is known as a convection method. Take a small glass bottle and tie the thread to the neck of the bottle. Then put a few drops of the ink or food color in it. Fill this glass bottle with hot water. Slowly insert the glass bottle into the container using a thread and observe what is happening inside. You can see the beautiful cloud of the colored water coming from the glass bottle. Why it is happening? The density of the hot water is less than the density of the cold water. When we submerge the hot water bottle in the cold water, due to the lower density of the hot water, it goes towards the upper side in the cold water container. Here, with the help of the color, you can see the path of the hot water. This process of the heat transfer is known as a convection. In this convection process of heat transfer, the movement of the heat by fluid such as water or air is convective. You can make some changes to the experiment. Instead of using the single bottle, you can use three bottles and repeat the above activity. If you fill the three bottles with three different colors, then you will see different color coming from the bottles.
After some time, when the temperature of the water inside the bottle and outside the bottle get equalized, then you will not find any colorful clouds in the water tank. Now, let's understand one more method of the transfer of heat. It is known as radiation. Here we are using the radiometer that we got from the market. A radiometer is a device that measures the power of electromagnetic radiation. In this radiometer, the vanes rotate when exposed to the light, with the faster rotation for more intense light, providing a qualitative measurement of the electromagnetic radiation intensity. Here, you will find heat transfer without any medium. This type of the heat transfer is known as a radiation. Here, you must observe the transfer of the heat by the electromagnetic waves. This type of the heat transfer is known as a radiation. I hope you must enjoy the above activities involved with heat and the heat transfer. Some of these activity you may easily perform in your home. Please do all above activities under adult supervision. Thank you very much.